what's up traders welcome to another video how many times you have taken a trade on a breakout just to price come back to the opposite direction and hit your stop loss this is because of false breakout so today i'm gonna discuss what is false breakout what are the preconditions of false breakout so that you can identify them and what you can expect after a false breakout with examples at the end of the video i'll give you an important tips about false breakout that i have seen in my observation that no one even noticed it so stay until the end of this video sound interesting then go ahead and subscribe to the channel smash the like button press the bell notification so that you don't miss out any of the content that i released almost every day for those who don't know me my name is nizam i am an author at trading view founder of forex trading wizard and also i am a professional forex trader with that said let's begin So what is false breakout and why they happen? The first thing, what is false breakout? So when price break through a support, a resistance or a trend line and close back again, a false breakout happen. So I will show you in real chart, but let me give you a clear idea of what is a false breakout. Say for example, this is a support, the price coming here touch this support so after that what should happen the price should bounce back or it should penetrate break it and start to move down so there are two scenarios but what false breakout is basically the price break this support came back below and then start and close above again and then started to move the other direction so this is a false breakout and this is a very very common phenomenon a lots of trader trap into this false breakout because when it breaks the new trader normally enter the trade immediately they say well support is broken let's go short and then boom the price went to the other direction and then hit their stop loss or sometimes blowing out their account so this is very very important that you stay aware of false breakout now let's see why they happen i will show you in real chat again just let me explain first so the reason the main reason for false breakout is to gather liquidity to move the price to the opposite direction let me clarify it so say for example the price is ranging here right ranging here like that now listen as a retail trader we cannot move the price even a single peep if all retail trader trade together in one direction the price will not move the price mover is bank hedge fund you know big boys so what they do normally if they are ranging like this that means they are trying to gather liquidity so what happen if if they buy from here the price will move very aggressively and they will not have enough profit so as a retail trader what do you do normally because this is a support you think that okay the I, I will buy from here my stop loss will be below because this is a support line and i can stay safe so what happened when they intentionally move the price here they hit your stop loss so when a buyer hit their stop loss that means a buyer turn into a seller so the reason for false breakout to force you to become a seller so that they can buy from you and then the price will move up this is the main reason only reason for a false breakout there is there are millions of examples of false breakout say this one here this is Aussie dollar this is the daily trend line and look at this candle here okay so the price came here broke this trend line and then aggressively went up above closed above so this is a false breakout 
and not only once quite a few times it made false breakout and later what happened the price moved aggressively to the upside to this direction so this is one of the examples of false breakout let me show you more examples okay this is usd wrap if you see this is a weekly support and what happens see the price came here break this support from here aggressively and then went above to the other direction so this is another examples of false breakout so there is there are hundreds of examples around the chart if you look you will find lots of false breakout now let's find out possible preconditions of false breakout so what are the preconditions of false breakout remember this is not exact this is not 100% it is just an observation it is not a law that you can you know uh, you can apply some law and if it is satisfying it's not a science trading is a probability so this possible preconditions means if this precondition fulfilled there is a high probability of false breakout it is not guaranteed that it is a false breakout now let's see what are the preconditions if price hits support resistance or a trend line with a huge candle atr more than 200 percent i will show you in real chart first let me explain the theory so when you see say for example this is a resistance okay this is a resistance and a candle went there with a big move okay remember with a big move this is the 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 number one precondition when the atr say for example if atr average atr this much but this one is huge candle like the ghost candle with the resistance likely that this price will come back to the range to create a false breakout this is a one of the preconditions another precondition is candle that hit the support or resistance does not have any retracement so what happened each candle when say for example this is a candle okay this is a candle and you will see that each candle has a wick so there is a candle like that and there is a wick in it okay so this wick basically a retracement but when false breakout happen you will see that in many cases there is no retracement so if you see a trend a candle closed above support or below support without even a single you know any retracement with a big candle there is a high probability that it is a false breakout now what is the other condition if there is no retest of the support resistance or a trend line so what does it mean it means that when price breaks a support or resistance say for example uh, let me show you clearly so this is a trend line okay this is a trend line and price break this trend line now if it started to move aggressively in this direction there is a, in, in some cases it is probability that it's a false breakout normally the healthy way is when the price break and close above or below the support or resistance then it should come for a retest of this trend line and on the retest if it if it holds then it started to move other direction this is the ideal scenario but if you see that there is no retest and started to move aggressively then it is likely that it could be a false breakout but you will find a lot of example that there is no retest but there is no false breakout as well but it is one of the preconditions that you can keep in mind what is the fourth uh, precondition price will have a low volume during the breakout this is a, also very very important so when you have a volume profile in your chart you will see that the, the price break aggressively but the volume is very low very low that means it could be a false breakout so there are four preconditions now let me show you in real chart all of these four preconditions now let me show you this example euro aud so there is a there is a support here so the price 
respecting this support quite a few times quite a few candles created this support and then what happens see this candle this candle came down way below and the next one boom went up and close above so that is a false breakout so basically it has broken this support below and went back below now let's see all our precondition the first one is the price will have a huge candle so this is what happens see there is a huge candle which is a long atr so what is atr if you uh, go to the indicator section write atr then you will see average true range you can plot in your chart and see the atr value so this one look at this one the atr for this normally is 39 so the atr is 39 pip if you see the value of the atr now let's see what is the value of this candle alone so this is almost 80 to 83 pips so normal atr for in this zone is 40 uh, yeah 41 41 but the this candle alone has you know atr of 82 that means more than twice so that is also a precondition of a false breakout now what is the second uh, precondition if if this candle does not have any retracement see if there is no we can all this little bit of weak so it doesn't have enough significant retracement what is the third precondition if there is no retest now how how do you know see the retest should be with this candle so if this green candle retest means if it, it is gone here and then retested this uh, support as a resistance so what happened when price breaks a support it normally retests this zone as a resistance and it cannot break then start to move down but in this case what happened when it went for a retest it actually basically went up and close above again so that is a precondition what is the last precondition that we have price will have low volume so if you see the volume profile here you see that price will have low volume so these are the preconditions of false breakout let's see more examples now you see all of these are false breakout so this one is a false breakout if you see this is a trend line it was following and suddenly this candle broke this trend line and the next one boom closed above so it's a false breakout so what are the precondition let's see the first one is the candle will have a bigger body that's what happened what is the second condition is it will not have almost no retracement so there is almost no retracement so what is the third precondition if there is no retest so what happened is this candle should have a retest but it has gone up and closed above and what is the last precondition price will have a low volume profile i don't have volume profile in my chart but you can plot and see that you might see that there is a low volume in this candle so these are the preconditions of false breakout and i think that you have learned what is false breakout now now we'll see what to expect after a false breakout so when you say you have identified that this is a false breakout now what what you can expect let's see so you can expect the price come back to the range within the support or resistance so this is one thing definitely that's why it is a false breakout the second thing is high probability of moving to the other direction this is the main purpose of false breakout so let let me show you again the real chart how it looks like so all this false breakout we have seen so far you will see that see this one there is a false breakout and the next one moved the other direction if we see more false breakout you will see the same scenario now so let's see this one here that one we have already seen so the price goes back above and after that what happened the price aggressively moved to the other direction so this is the main reason uh, what happened the boy big boys grabbed the liquidity hit all the stop loss so all the buyers became seller they bought all of this and then it started to move to the other direction now look at this all of this this all are false breakout so the price broke this uh, uh, this trend line and then closed above so after that price has a liquidity to go up now this 
are the force breakout and I hope that you understood what is force breakout and what you can expect from a force breakout. Now the tips that I can give you in my observation but do not use it directly observe by yourself and see which one is uh, applying to you normally I, I saw in my observation is that Monday or especially Monday early in Asian session when price breaks support or resistance or trend line in most cases I saw it become a false breakout but do not think there is a false breakout observe by yourself and see so that you can understand the pattern the reason is because at that time there is low volume but when there is a breakout happen in most cases I saw that it becomes a false breakout and price move again to the other direction I sincerely believe that this video is helpful to you I hope that you enjoyed this I may create another video on how to trade false breakout with proper strategy don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video